Look who's back with another workout. <laughs> Got it? Back. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, we are doing a back workout. It's gonna be great. You wanna grab some dumbbells and a resistance band if you have one, but no worries. If you've not got any dumbbells, use some water bottles or some cans, or you can just not use any. Um, if you don't have a resistance band, you can also use some tights or you can just do the movement without still engaging the muscles. First movement we're going to do will be the seated row. So sat down, legs out in front, wanting to put the band under your feet, being careful that you don't like flick it back in your face because that would be tragic and go. And we're just going to do one arm at a time to make sure we get the most intense, most resistance for this seated row. So you want to be sat up with good posture. And what I want you to try and focus on is just really using the lats in this movement. So I don't want you to squeeze the biceps, so the muscles at the front of the arm. I want you to try and relax the biceps and let them go jelly. And the movement is really coming from the lats and the upper back. Um, so you're just pulling all the way back, keeping good posture. You can make the exercise more difficult by putting your legs further apart, therefore um, increasing the resistance of the band. You might feel this in your legs as well rest for 20 seconds um, as you push that band apart but that's absolutely fine that's fine that's just an extra bonus you're welcome um, after 10 seconds we're going to do the same thing on the other arm or on the other side rather ready and go so sitting up nice and tall the other arm can just support and we're rowing back intentionally squeezing the muscles of the back, getting that mind to muscle connection, making sure that the legs don't fall in, I know it's tempting, well done guys, keep going, and rest. Well done. Next, we're going to do some Superman takeoffs. So, lying with the face to the floor, we're going to grab the dumbbells if you're using them. This is a little bit harder with dumbbells, so you can also just leave those. And we're going to stretch the arms out in front, lift up, and then round to the sides. Ready and go. So, arms out in front, lift up as you take off, and reach around to the side as you squeeze the arms into the body. Up out to the side, squeeze, back front, lower, up, arms out to the side, squeeze, back to front and lower. So we're really, it's like we're flying through the air, okay, so you want that movement to be all the way up, getting that hyperextension, arms out to the sides and then we're squeezing down. Keep going, doing really well, getting the full range of motion and rest. Well done. Next we're going to do some plank flies. So holding a plank position, I'm bending at the knees and um, you can do a full plank with the legs out straight if you prefer. We're just going to lift up one arm out into the fly position, really working the rear delt and go. So you want to keep a slight bend in the arm and you want to lift the arm out to the side. One thing that's really tempting with this is to open up the shoulders so that that um, upper body is twisting, but you want to really focus on keeping the shoulders towards the mat. So you should be facing the mat as you go. Your knees can be where is comfortable. So if you don't want to pivot and hold that plank-ish position with the core nice and tight, you can just come down into like a knees under hips if that's more comfortable for you, or you can stretch the legs out straight. But either way, we keep going, lifting up that arm, and rest, well done. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Stretch it out if you need to. This is such an effective exercise. You can just do standing flies as well if you prefer, because I know this is challenging for the core. Ready and go, but I love getting a cheeky bonus. 
So you want to keep a slight bend in the arm and you want the arm actually coming straight out to the side. So I'm going to critique myself here and say that that arm is coming too far back. I want it just straight out to the side. I also want would want my upper body to be facing the mat more, but apparently I was in struggle city here, but that's okay. We keep going, still getting a good workout, but just, um, yeah, don't lower your standards to mine on this rep. I don't know. I don't know what, what are you doing, Saz? Why are you showing us up for? Why are you showing us up? But that's okay, because you're still working. I'm proud of you. Well done. Past Sarah. <laughs> oh, these voiceovers are so weird. But well done. We're getting in a great workout and relax. Oi, oi, oi. Back in from the top with a seated row. So we're not doing a crazy amount of movements, um, which is good. It's what I prefer. I think that, you know, obviously my technique still needs a bit of work. And I just think, you know, technique is a lifelong thing. Like you keep doing the same things, getting better, getting stronger, increasing the resistance. A good way and go good way to see progress so I grab the band with the one arm I'm sitting up nice and straight supporting my body with the other arm and making sure to allow the biceps to go jelly and the way that I do that is by not wanting I don't want like too much of a bend in that elbow that bend just comes naturally as I'm pulling the band back engaging the lats engaging the muscles of the back and it's not from me bending the elbow. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I don't, this isn't a bicep curl, okay? Doing really well. Keep the arm tucked into the body and rest. Well done. And then we'll do the same thing on the other arm. Ready? Three two, one, and go. Sitting up nice and tall, making sure that you've got a good amount of resistance. You're keeping that band pushed apart with the legs, okay? Now I know that feels a little something, something, but it's all good. That's, uh, that's what we want. We want to get that extra bonus work in the abductors. Keep going. Being intentional, mind to muscle connection, don't be passive with it can't be passive in this life, it's got to be intentional. I'm doing so, so well. And rest, well done. And then coming back in with the Superman takeoffs, which I love, this is such a good exercise, I think it's a great one. Um, so you're basically getting that hyperextension, that lift, You've got the arms out in front, and then as you come back down, you're just squeezing the arms into the body. Ready, and go. Arms out in front, lift, out to the side, back to the front, and lower. Lift, round the world, front, lower. Lift all the way around, squeeze in at the back, back to front, and lower. Keep going. You'll feel a little bit of glute work as well while you do this. It's such a good exercise making sure that you're really squeezing the shoulder blades together as you bring the weights back down behind you. It's almost like you're a superhero flying through the air when your arms are back behind you, you're just flying. You wanna be as streamlined as possible. That's how tight you want your arms into the body. And rest, well done. And we're coming back onto our hands and knees for the plank fly. So I'm grabbing a dumbbell in one arm Holding up my body with the other arm. And these are quite tough, actually. They are quite tough, but you're tougher. You can do it. If you find these difficult, you can just do standing flies. Ready and go. So one arm out to the side. <laughs> well, that's funny. I was going to go for the full plank, and then I was like, nah, not today, Satan. But, you know, feel free to go for the full plank if you want. It is, it is really good for your core. Um, so arm out to the side, keeping a slight bend in that elbow of the arm. We're making sure that our chest is facing the mat. You can adjust the knees to wherever you're comfortable because the main movement, the only movement that we want in fact, is of that arm coming out to the side. We're getting a really good, um, we're getting some good core work, we're getting some work in that arm that's keeping us upright and rest. That's all more collateral damage than the main one. It's a really good exercise that we'll get great benefits from. And on the other side, ready and go. So arm out to the side. So 
as you can see here, my knees are more just under my hips rather than trying to get, you know, that straight line from shoulder to hip to knee in that plank position. But I'm still getting a really good workout, so just bringing up the arm. It only needs to go in line with your body, okay? It doesn't need to come up too high. We're making sure that the shoulders are facing the mat, square on the mat. Keep going, give it your all. I know it's tough, but this is the last bit of the workout. You've come thus far, you can do it. Five more seconds. And rest, well done, you done diddly did it. I'm so proud of you, well done. Um, yeah, feel free to do some stretches if it feels a bit tight. Let me know how you found this workout, share it with a friend and make sure you subscribe for more. I'll see you in my next video guys, love you so much. Bye. <laughs>